Good morning to you and welcome to my testimony. We are at the parking by Radisson in Westland's amazing place. You can check it out, amazing services. And today on my testimony, we get to speak to Anne Wairimo. Anne Wairimo. And the reason why we bring my testimony is every Sunday is because in, in one way or the other, the seasons of life, we go through issues, sometimes pain, you know, brokenness. But through that pain, something amazing comes out and we bring people with amazing stories just to encourage you. So do we speak to Anwe Rimu? Anwe Rimu has undergone as, as uh, abuse drugs, she has peddled drugs. But uh, the highlight of her story is when she went to Saudi Arabia to be a house help. Things changed. And that's when she discovered that God can actually come into I mean, to make meaning in her life. Anne, karibu sana. Na asante kuja my testimony, kuzungumza pamoja na sisi. Karibu. Uko poa? Niko poa. All right. Kwa hivyo, Anne, umeanza uh, uh, hali ya ku, kujiusisha katika madawa ya kulevia. Ukiwa na umri mdogo tu baada ya kudrop kutoka shule. Nikweli. Okay. Mutu eleze ilianzia wapi. Okay. My life, mimi na ito Anne. Aha. Ah. Mezaliwa mazare, mta mlangwa kubwa. Huko ndiyo mta yangu. Mm -hmm. In a family of eight, nikiwa second born. Eight children. Yeah. Oh, mzazi moja, baba mzazi moja, mama. moja, single mother. Alright. Yeah. So, huko nimegrow nime ya mta ya madhare. Mm -hmm. Nimesomea huko, nimeolewa huko, na nikaanzia life huko. That's okay. my life. Alright. So, ndiyo nikunja kuingia katika drugs. Mm -hmm. One thing, nilikuwa na challenge ya kuzaliwa na kulelewa. Aha. Ina family of eight, second born. Na wengine ni wanane. Na mazingira ilikuwa aje pale mko mnaishi how many rooms? Mambo kama Kule hakuna mambo za rooms, ni single room. Watoto nane. Watoto nane na mko na mother hapo na yuko job na hiyo ndio life. So mko mnapata wapi chakula, pesa, nini? So tukiwa Pesa, sana sana pesa hatu kwa tunajua stories za pesa. Mm. Haja yetu likuwa na haja ni food. Okay. So, weekends kama Saturday, tulikuwa tunatoka, tunatembea mgumba ka gikomba, from lango kubwa kwa nda gikomba, kukota zile sukuma ziko kwa lori, kufagia lori, tunabeba hizo sukuma, tunabeba nyanya, vitungu, that was our life, tumepata food. Mm -hmm. Tulikuwa tunagawa na duties. Hasawa mimi nilikuwa ni katafte mboga. Mm -hmm. Sistangu mkubwa juu anaweza chota maji ya katafute maji. Na si maji ya kanunua mlangu maji likuwa ni kununua. Mm. But ni ya tafute minzi za kuiba. Wow. Juu hakuna doza kubai. So, brothangu mdogo ndio likuwa minifuata. Ye ni ya tafute minzi za moto. Tutafute ya tafute kuni na plastic. Mm -hmm. Tulikuwa tunapikia kwa hiyo room. Kile kitu mtu wame kuja na yo. Madhe na ye haji na ye ni kutafuta unga. Wow. So madhangu walikuwa naenda mahali place na itangu wapangani huko ndi kwa masongu. Mm -hmm. So naenda huko, kuna mama walikuwa naenda wanaka huko, wanagoje ya vibaru waza kufuangu kwa wahindi. So watagoje hapo hitha apate ama asipate. So wakipata, sikio ni Christmas. Ikikosa, tunazoya life. Aha. So that was our life. So, so nini nini likupushu kaingia kwa, kwa drugs? Bada so, kwa chashule? So mimi nilienda high school na challenge za high school. Nikaenda St. Jesus, nilipas vizuri. Hata kama kulikuwa na challenges, mm. nilipas vizuri, nikaituwa Pangani Girls. Wow. So, madhia kuwa na pesa za kunipeleka Pangani Girls, because ilikuwa boarding. So, haka unga na mimi, haka niambia niende deo school, at least, hiyo ataiza kutafuta, tafuta kidogo kidogo wakinipa. Mm -hmm. So, mi nikaenda high school, St. Jesus Girls, iku hapo tu next na madhari. Right. So, nilianza kusoma form one. The challenge was, nikiwa primary, tulikuwa na cover. At least, kuna mayanku alikuwa alive, na alikuwa uh -huh. bado ndi, ni muizi kule, alikuwa itingu kule. So, wow. tulikuwa na security, alikuja kashutua pale baro, so tukabakia tuwa na security. So, mini kitoka shule, challenge likuwa mob. Mlangu wakuna kukatiwa. Mm. Mlangu ni atiwe ni dem pita hii. Hiyo ndiyo life. Yani, kama we ni dem? E, ni pita hii. <laughs> Una machani ni pita hii? So, pita hii ni unayepelea kwa hitha likuwa majani ama ni wapi. So mwambi angawati. Hiyo hey, story naishia huko. Kwa kiwa mwaboyi watatu, kwa kiwa mwaboyi waine. Kulengana mibi huko. Hiyo kufupi unasema ni rap. Hiyo hey, kwa rapping ilikuwa ni lifestyle. Hiyo ni lifestyle. Wow. Wow. Si hati kuna hati. Wengina nasikia wakisama hati kurepio one day. That was a real lifestyle. Yani kila siku, kila saa, anytime. 
any hour. So life yangu ya high school ikakuwa ni challenge. Mm-hmm. Sasa ni hapa ukitoka shule umengojewa watu wako kwa nyumba lazima msote venye watakula. Hey, ni kaangalia hii life, nikaona hii life mimi naina kuwa ni ngumu. Uh-huh. So problem ile nilikuwa nayo nikiwa high school, watu wale tunasoma nao wametoka kwa masungo. Mimi si afford kila kitu, sina vitabu, sina bairo, uniform viatu sina. So wale notice nimetoka kwa family mbaya, maskini. Maskini. Uh-huh. So it can happen kitu yote ikibwa kwa class. Ni wewe wanaambiwa waandike suspect. Suspect ni yani? innocently kabisa sikuwa naiba. Mm. So suspect ni yani either na ambao nilipe kulipa madhi awezi so nifanye pano. So ile chale ile fanye kile ili kuwa zaidi ikafanya nitoke nilifika form 2. Mm-hmm. Form 2 kukabii kukaibiwa viatu. Kuibiwa viatu suspect wakaambua andike nikaandikwa. Nikaenda kwa teacher nikajaribu kumwambia si mimi akakataa. So nikaambo nifanye pano nikasema imekuwa too much kwa ni shule pia ni nini nje na gojewa kwa shule ni shit oh mimi ni ngoja so nika nika decide kuacha shule mm. ku decide kuacha shule nikaenda nikakuta malango nikamwambia mama mstaki shule It's too much ime mother kanza kwa ni utaki shule nikamwambia sitaki shule so nilikuwa najua kukata shule ni vita mm. na niwe peke yako unasoma kwa hiyo familia wengine wote hawasomi so mamangu akaniambia it's either choose mambo mbili shule ama out Mambo ni mbili. Hasa hapa tubembelezani. So nikaona baada ya shule hata iri nikanyage nje. Mm. Mimi nikakanyaga nje. Nikaenda, nikaenda kwa madhara mwingine alikuwa anauza kule cash crop yetu ilikuwa ni changa. Mm. Madhara anauza changa hapo nikamuelezea life yangu akaniambia sasa hapa sina option. So nimtafute mwanaume akusaidie. Akusaidie. Sasa utaishiaje bila una boyfriend huko au uko kwenye. So in your life. Nikaangalia nikaona bado sijapata sijajua story za my boyfriend haya nika nikaanza kuishi kwa hiyo madha watanga mm-hmm. so ikifika usiku ananifukuza ndio alale yako na family yako na hawai mm-hmm. hazi yako na watu yetu hazitoshia ikifika usiku lazima anifuku anifukuze mm-hmm. mchana mko sawa mchana ma customer watakam wata buy food mtakula pale utabaiwa ndio ufit kwa ile company lazima mm-hmm. ukunywe mm-hmm. haya kule siku mla mla kunywe hiyo changa haya ndio ufit pia ufeel wasifeel nikao umekuja kuwauza right. ama kuwa seti unatumia zile vitu wanatumia. So hapo mimi nikaanza. Nikaanza kunywa. Nikaanza kunywa steam, tuko mm. tunaita steam. Nikaanza kunywa ndom. Mogoka. Ni eh, sasa ni bangi. Vivi sasa life ikabamba, life ikakuwa hata ni simple. Sasa nikaingia kwa ile ni squad vizuri. Usiku tukifukuzwa tunatoka, tulikuwa tunaenda tunalala place ile kwenye tokea mo. Mm. Kiamo ni huko chini karibu na mto kuna manyasi. So mnalala huko mkiwa squad, kuna maboi, kuna madimo ile wengi wamepa kwa wengine wamefukuzwa wengine wana maparo mm. so that was our life so, so of course uka graduate ah nika I mean, graduate dom, nini, nika zitumia vizuri sasa zikakuni kakuwa na zitumia roho safi sasa na uka, ulikuwa naishi unaenda kwa mama job mchana usiku unaenda kulala eh sasa mchana anaenda kwa mother hata when the job mm. unaenda kumsaidia kuuza changani upate food wow na of course hiyo pesa so a, a agenda ilikuwa kupata food. Eh ilikuwa ni food. Na at least please utashinda mchana mzima. Ah. So even ndo niliingia kwa drugs. So at what point ulipata mtoto? Na kwa drugs at what point ulianza na wewe pia kuuza drugs? Okay this time katikati ya harakati ya kutoka nikienda kula la nje nikaadvise wana madem juna hara siwa sana na maboy. Ah. Sina boyfriend. So akaniambia hapa ndio kuwe na security kwa kuwa na boy mmoja. Eh. So kula i mind boy yako na mademo wangapi? So long as yako na rangi ya juu. Yaani dingo na yako na rangi ya juu. Sasa eh sasa ile yeye anasendi kusema. Sasa lazima ujishikilie kwake. Wow. So nikaangalia angalia ni chali mgani anaikati yanga na mkata. Na una wii nani yako na rangi? So nikakubali mmoja ah. sitamtaja jina. Ehe. So tukaanza kukuwa na yeye katikati ya ile harakati nikapata ball. Mm. So kupata ball hakuna story nyingine. Sinikuze. Nilipopata ball yule chali alikata. Mm. Kuzali kuanga na madem wengi. Sasa mimi ndio kadogo. Mimi nilikuwa kadogo. Wow. At that time niko 16 years. 16 years. Mm. So chali akanikata. Akasamea kwa na wife first, wife second na third. So ana place ya kunipeleka. So mimi nijisort na mtu huyu. 
So, nikaanza kuishi na mtu wangu kule tu mtaa. Kule mara sasa siwezi enda kwake juu siwezi msaidia job. So naacho kule chini kianda kia mo, naacho na mabo na na mtu wangu au mabeshte zangu, wanaenda na search food. Wanaenda isili wana snatch. Wanakaa na machipo, wanakaa na maridheri ma na sosi mimi na goro tu maisha inaendelea kule mtani but bado nikiwa na mtu hii kwa sababu nilikuwa nimeshazoea kunywa hii steam sasa ingekaa suba lazima nikunywe steam na sasa mtu hii pia ananikatia sasa anafanya nisikue na freedom ana mdunga kidogo pia ndio alale kiasi uko na dunga mtu hii steam eh tunampea steam ndio at least alale unampea na kijiko ndio at least alale na wewe unaweza kwenda kubangaiza Jukika hapa saa yote mm. pia hao watu tumachosha na kuambia sasa ushapoona wewe toka. Sio mtu mpya steam ana chapa blackout immediately. Eh ana chapa ana chapa blackout na muacha pale. Wewe mm. unaenda round zenyu sichi. Mm. Sasa ikili sasa tu isili liko life ni kuiba. Unaiba food. Mm. Unaiba wa mother. Mm. Sana sana sasa si madem tulikuwa tunaiba food. Wow. Ukipata ma, mali kuna mtu. Yeye mnaiba chakula. Eh yeye mnaiba food. Ukipata kwa hoteli machapo venye zinaekelewa hivi mnachukua nakimbia mnaenda mnakula kuna time ulikuwa kwa kuweza kuishi peke yako na ukabai tv so hiyo hiyo story okay madhangu alisikia nilipata mtu hii after kitu 8 months mm. na madhangu akakuja akachukua mtoto okay sasa akakuja akaiba mtu wangu sasa right. alikam kuiba mtu hii akaenda naye so ilikuwa jibra thangu bado yuko kule bra bra thangu sasa kwa pia dingo ako kule nilikuwa naenda mchana madhangu samaenda school mm. naenda mchana na nachukua mtu wangu na mnyonyesha naenda So life nikaangalia kwetu hii hawa watu wapi wana safa sana. Mm. Nikajiuliza kama hawa mama wanauza changa ndio wana afford kutupia food. Si hata mimi naweza anza hii life ya kuuza changa. Nikaanza. Nikakuta ule ngapi? Sasa sasa hizo nilikuwa 17. Nikakuta ule madha, madha mmoja alikuwa ni bawe tu hapo. Nikamwambia mimi nafikira kwanza hii job. Njoo sana na kule home hata watu wetu wa wako poa. Nikubaya food ni shida madhangu ndio huyo. So ule madha alinipatia kibuyu kakivuka moja kwa 1 liter mm. na akanionyesha venye na pimangwa mm. na akaniambia nikiuza nimlete pesa zake nibaki na faida right. akanigawia glass tatu so siku na hao mimi nikaenda kule down nikaeka mawe nikaita mabesti zangu saa kutoka leo tutakuwa tukinywa kwa fulani mkujange mnani promo mnani promo sasa nisha mimi ni member sasa watu kuitana sasa nikaanza hivyo nika biashara yangu ika grow from 1 liter nikajipata naanza kuuza 20 liters wow. at this time nikiuza bado ninakunywa because wezi deal na makarao mm -hmm. kiwa soba watakusumbua watakusumbua so pesa zikiwa alright sikilia tu pale tutakuwa tunarudi na an lakini nataka sana kujua kuhusu hiyo tv and what that tv did to her na baadaye alipoenda Saudi Arabia what exactly happened usiene bali you are my testimony we are at the parking by Radisson God bless you.